so in today's tutorial we'll be looking on to one of the great topic okay which a lot of developers are not aware about that is with respect to the journal entry so everyone knows the journal entry field in service now right but what exactly is the background how we can access that particular field right that is kind of gray area for a lot of developers i've seen in the past so let's first try to understand what is journal entry okay so journal entry is of three types so this is service now docs and according to the service now docs it's of three type okay journal journal list and journal input so let me try to explain you what is the difference between these three types okay so i will not go through the theoretical perspective okay i will just show you so in journal field you will have a text box okay and below the text box whatever is the audit history right for that particular field you will be able to see those audit history okay so like uh, you can see in the first figure in this one right then we have journal input field it acts the similar way okay as the journal field but it doesn't display the activity logs okay at the bottom and the third one is journal list field this is like where do you don't have the provision to give any input okay you can simply see the output okay whatever it's getting uh, you are getting from the system okay so these are the three types of journal field okay now and uh, when you are pass in certain scenarios there were there will be a requirement right that you want to send the activity logs or you can call it as a journal entries through notifications right so there is a property so ideally it takes only three uh last three uh, journal entries okay while accessing it out but using this property glide dot email dot journal dot lines you can extend this particular account okay to the value you want to is it clear okay perfect now let me show you with the what's the problem with the channel entry so let's go to the incident table okay so basically how we fetch all the records means all the field level records okay so first of all i will show you where exactly the journal entries can be seen on the incident table so this is a list for journal uh, incident table okay and i have opened one of the record and in record there is a tab called notes and whatever you see over here right if i add uh test 1 save then i give test 2 save so these are getting added to the activity activity logs right you can see so these are journal entries now if you want to access this out okay so there is a challenge okay so you can see this is also one of the one of the fields like the other fields on the incident form right if if we right click on the same it's loading i guess okay we can't do it so basically if i want to pull the data okay let's how i can see this data so it'll be telling you okay this work note will be a field of journal type which is on the incident table so let's try to see if we are able to access the data from the list view first so if i go to the gear icon okay and if we see the list of available fields am i able to find work notes yes i am able to find the work notes okay work notes list also i am able to find okay if i add it to the list okay here i can see the activity logs on work note list i can't but on work notes i can see the last activity log which is perfectly fine now if i want to if it's showing over here that means i can access that also right so let's try to access it out so i will simply right click and i'll open the explore for this particular record and let's see if we can access that particular work note for this particular record okay so we have work note this is the back end field name okay, for it so we have incident table we have we are getting that particular record and if i do gr dot work notes so in ideal scenario now it should in output me the work notes right let's try it out control x gs dot info work notes if i run this out and see let's see what we got we got an empty object right 
So this is not what we were expecting, right? If I do dot let dot true string, if you think it's an object, let's try this out also. If I run, and there is nothing, right? That means it's an empty object. Okay. So how I can access this work notes then? Okay. So according to the docs, okay, we have a method called getref. Get here if we go get journal entry. Okay. So this get journal entry also have two input parameters. Okay. So let let me take this first. So I will add it as get journal entry, and now with get journal entry, right? This particular function, we can pass either minus one, okay, or we can pass one, okay. What is the difference between minus one and one? So according to the service now definition, if we pass minus one as an input attribute, it will give it will give all work notes, okay. Added, and if we do one, then it will give only the last work node. So let's try to play around this. Okay, let's try both the things. Okay, key how exactly it works. Okay, so what I will do, uh, I will take this up. Okay, one more time. I will add over here. We can say with input minus one. What we are getting? Okay. I will uh, pass it as minus one. And similarly, I can add one more log to get. For one, I will just squeeze this over here, and let's try to take this further. And this is with respect to one. I don't want minus over here. Okay, one, and I will remove the minus sign from here also. Sounds like a plan, right? Oh, it got cut from here. Control Z, 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 Z. This was for minus one. We copy paste it out. One more time. I will make it with one, not eleven. One. Well, let's try to un uh, run and try to understand whether our statements, whatever I've gave, is valid or not. So somewhere line number three, from where I ate it up. Do 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 with gr dot work node. It's not over here. Argument. Oh, I miss plus because it's an attribute, right? Sorry for that. Let's run it out, and now you can see with so. I will add one more comment over here. Okay, that was a mess. So now we have two comment. Now if I go I explore and if I run it out, now you can see for minus one we got two comments, test two and test one. But with one, we got only one comment, which is test to the latest one. Okay. So let's try to create a use case around it. Okay. So what we'll do? The use case will be like, ki uh, whenever any work notes is getting added. To the record, okay. So it should 
get populated it should get updated in the parent problem in a problem also the parent problem so i will select one problem over here and i will save it out okay so what we want the use case is like ki whenever any work notes are getting added to the incident the similar work the same work note should get added to the problem also associated with it got it so let's do one thing for this let's create a business rule so i will duplicate this tab so that we can verify it out on this i will do configure business rule and here i will create a new business rule i'll give a name is like tag no mock update work notes update work notes i will click on this advanced checkbox it will be an on after business rule which will run after update i don't want this business rule to run every time so i will do when work notes changes then only it should run okay and now we'll move to advanced and what we'll do over here we'll do variable gr yeah, problem equal to new glide record okay and in this we want to update it on problems so i will add a problem table and then gr problem dot query okay now we want it to be updated on the related problem right so what we'll do we will just take the reference from fields we'll take the reference of problem right so we want to do society society of the problem should be equal to current incidents problem id okay then what we will do gr dot next and next and if there is some record okay we will check if gr problem sorry yeah it should be gr problem dot query and then if gr problem dot next then we will update the work notes okay and i want to i don't want to update every time all the work notes i will be updating only the latest one okay so it will be like gr problem dot work underscore notes equal to we'll take the reference from here only what is that gr perfect right it should be current not okay and then we'll be doing gr dot update okay now we are done with our business rule okay so what we are doing we are going to the problem table we are taking the problem which is associated with the current incident okay we are checking whether it exists if it exists we are updating the work notes with the journal entry perfect now i will save it out and at the same time what i will do i will open this problem in an another tab so i open it out and as you can see there are no 
incident specific work notes right now over here okay now we will update the work notes on this particular record okay so we will go to the notes and we will give update the problem work notes and as soon as we update this out it should update on that side also on the problem also so I will save it out and if we see now we got an work notes on the incident record let's go to the problem record and you can see the same work note got added to the problem record also so this is how you can work with the journal entry you can't get the data directly as you get it for other fields okay you have to use the get journal method in get journal method also there are two input parameters if you pass it as minus one it will give all the work notes on that particular record if you provide one let's try it with minus one also so let me change it out instead of one I will give minus one over here and you will see the difference then so I will save it out I will go to the incident I will be test 4 because we have already added 1 2 I will consider it 3 and then 4 so if I save this now now it should pull all the work notes and update on the problem okay so if we go to this now you can see you got test 1 2 3 and 4 okay so this is how the journal entry works get journal entry works hope you like this video please like follow subscribe okay and if you have any comments please drop in below this video i will try to answer those queries out till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you